Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. How's it going? I hope it's going good. My name is Siobhan Shana, the Shana Bell. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So today we'll be doing another pick a card reading and today will be the first video for my version of Vlogmas. So basically I'll be posting a pick a card reading every day of the month of December. I do know I missed a few days, but please bear with me, okay? I was doing finals. I finished my last final yesterday and then I had to get my nails done. I got my nails done today. And so now we're here, okay? I came home, took a nap, did a few things, and now we're here with recording. Hopefully this video can come out tonight. If it's not, then it'll come out tomorrow, and then we'll have consecutive videos from then on out, okay? And then also, like I said, before the summer even started, I was saying how I want to post every single day for a year straight. And I know I did miss days, but I have been posting quite consistently. I think I don't think I went more than three days without posting since I said that, which is pretty good, because usually I would go like two weeks, okay? <laughs> So, um, even after Vlogmas, I do expect, like after Christmas, I do expect to still continue to post consistently. Um, the goal is still to post every day, at least three times a week, at least minimum. Um, so please subscribe to my channel if you do want consistent videos coming out. Um, and press the bell so you know if I every time I do upload, okay? So today's topic is a suggested reading. I do take suggestions, so if you ever have a video suggestion, please leave them in the comment section below. And I tend to prioritize those. So today's topic is, um, when will you get married? So I'll have the photos pop up for you to meditate on, for you to pick the pile and the piles I call to you the most. And I'll see you in your reading. Number one, if you pick the photo of, it's like either a den or a living room, and there's like a Christmas tree, and it's like completely decorated. It's the living room, right? If you pick that one, and this is a reading for you, so Lord Heavenly Father, please tap into power number one's energy. So I've made deliver these messages to the I can see precision, honesty, and truth for the good of all, and how to my Lord. Amen. Excuse me, because I most definitely did just work. <laughs> Sorry. A little inappropriate. Okay, when will you be getting married? I'm trying to... We'll pick from tarot. And we'll go, um... We'll go based off that. Okay, let me see. When will you be getting married? When will my partner one be getting married? We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have, oh, that's a lot of cards. Be so We have the tower in reverse. We have the ace of swords in reverse. And then we have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hangman in reverse, that's Pisces energy. We also have Scorpio energy with the Tower card and Aries energy as well with the Tower card. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn with the Ace of Swords and then the Ace of Pentacles as well. So, when, so those are the signs that you could be or the person that you're marrying could be. When you're gonna get married is when you're not like dying for change. I feel as though you could be in a place where you could be like financially dependent on somebody or you're trying to reach freedom or something like that based um, and that's why you wanna get married so badly. Um, and that's like a poor reason to end to like end up in a marriage you know to get it's a bad reason to get married um yeah so when you will get married is going to be okay with the ace of swords it doesn't have to be long like ace swords is quick energy it's quick moving energy but with the two of pentacles in reverse and then the tower in reverse it's kind of giving like it's when you're comfortable and happy where you are in life it's not like 
you're not looking for like the better the next best thing you're not looking for a huge life change or like a huge life glow up glow up or anything like that like it's going to be a time where you're comfortable in your life you're comfortable speaking your truth you're comfortable and with who you are um it's when you're in like a really great space mentally physically emotionally like especially like you'll be able to co communicate exactly what you want and not settle for less and in order for you to be in a place like that you have to come from a place of empowerment so it's not going to be a time where it's like you feel as though you need to be saved it's at a time where you are feeling more empowered as in like you're speaking out for yourself speaking out speaking up for yourself and declaring declaring exactly what you need exactly what you want to bring out your what for what will make you happy because i feel like that's one of the traits that your partner will end up loving anyway like if you think about disney movies um the guy always picks especially the most wealthy guy always picks the girl who's successful has their own and is willing and able to speak up for themselves and speak up for others even though it will make them look defined and things like that um, because the only people who don't like women who speak up and have something going for themselves and intelligent and educated themselves are men who don't have those things men who are educated men who are top of the class the top earners things like that they like educated women they like successful women because they don't they don't feel intimidated by it the only people who don't like successful and educated women are people who will feel a men who will feel intimidated and inferior and emasculated by them right so when you're figuring out what it is you want to do in life and everything like that don't ever be like oh you know i don't want to get this job because i don't want to make my man feel like because you know he's inferior or whatever because the only person who will feel inferior from you being successful is dusty because he can't keep up you know, so when you're going to get married, and we also have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, right? This is a time where you're not feeling as though you're stuck. It's it's a time where you're not feeling as though you have to stay in that one place. You, it's a time where you already feel that freedom, where, where you already feel like the whole world is your oyster. And you can achieve anything and everything you want, because you can. And I know the person who requested this video, I don't know if she's picking this pile or not, but she's like she's in india and i know there's certain countries where it's like harder to have certain things um i was always born and raised i was born and raised in america and then my parents came from Trinidad, so that's not really something that i know i understand personally and i'm never going to pretend like i do understand it um so please take what i'm saying with a grain of salt and then take it with what it is that you can do but i and i also i do understand and know that certain things are dangerous to do um, but edu educating it, even though you're a woman in India, uh, a woman in a place where, you know, women might not have as much rights as somebody in like America or like a European country or something like that, but educating yourself in any way that you can is best and allowing yourself to have a certain type of an income, no matter which way you can, again, is allowing yourself to have power because knowledge is power money is power and then power is power right and you feel empowered when you have education when you feel when you can keep up with the conversation and you can tell like you could tell somebody facts and you know that they're actual true facts you feel empowered when you can pay for things and you don't have to depend on anybody else financially you feel empowered so doing things like that will help you feel empowered also it might allow you to move out of the country so you can move to a place where you have even more power as a woman um, and you can educate yourself and get yourself in an even better standing place. Because one thing I'm going to tell you forever, never depend on a man. Never depend on a man, even if you find yourself with a really great man. Because say he never even does it. Say he gets in a, God forbid, God forbid, but say, not, not a man, not a boy, say he gets in a car accident. Now you have to fend for yourself or get married all over again. You know, like, it doesn't even necessarily have to be like the man's going to be trifling. Like, some things happen. Never have to depend on a man, you know. So, always set yourself up for success regardless. So, when you're going to get married is a time where you don't need a man. And I don't know if you're sitting around waiting for a man to come save you and take care of everything. Um, and that's probably the reason why you're clicking on this video because you're just like, okay, how long do I have to wait before I can start living the life of my dreams? Like, don't wait around waiting for a man to be able to provide for you the life of your dreams. Like, provide the life of your dreams for yourself and have a man meet you there. That's actually 
probably how are you going to end up meeting the man who's going to provide the life of your dreams for you, let's provide that lifestyle for you because you're already living that life and then you meet a man who's in that lifestyle and then he just continues paying for it. You can't expect to meet a man in the trenches and expect him to be able to afford the lifestyle of your dreams because he clearly can't because if he could have afforded the lifestyle of your dreams he wouldn't have been in the trenches where you met him. You know, so you have to put yourself in places where you can meet people of your standards or whatever it is that you want so then you have to become somebody of your standards right that's the only way you're going to be in the same places of as these people so those are your messages pile number one i hope it resonated if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know which part you came from and how it resonated also be sure to check out the description box for any information you might need for me follow me on my instagram and my tiktok i love you guys so very much and i'll see you in my next video Hi. number two if you pick the photo of the cookies um the holiday cookies and they're like decorated and this is the ring for you so lord heavenly father please tap into upon number two's energy so may deliver these messages to them with accuracy precision i'm seeing truth for the good of all and home to none lord amen so when will pile number two get married i'm hearing very soon so some of you guys will be getting married very soon um, congratulations. Some of you guys could be engaged or getting engaged again very soon. Well, my problem two is we getting engaged, getting married. So we have the King of Swords in reverse. That was okay. We have the King of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles upright, and then the Four of Pentacles upright. On the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, okay, when will you be getting married? Um, when you stop talking about every single. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I have to pick up my martini. I'm drinking a lemon. I made a lemon drop. And I wanted to sit and I dropped my stuff. Anyway, okay, so when you will get married is when you stop telling everybody about every single person you talk to and all the romantic offers that you're getting. Um, because people, I'm not gonna, people are blocking your blessings. Is that like, okay, forget about that. It's very much so, oh, you can't, first of all, sis, first of all, sis. How many people are you going to tell them about? Oh, yeah, this is the one. I'm going to marry this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next week is a whole new lineup. Like, we get it. But, like, how is people supposed to take you seriously if you're not taking yourself seriously? Like, take yourself seriously. Be a little more stingy with your time, your energy, your effort. Be a little more stingy with the information you give out, too. You know, there's going to be a man who come in, and he's going to treat you real well. He's going to spend a lot of money on you and take you shopping. Throw, um throw you all these like events and like book you flights and travel fly you out places and things like that right and this is not normal behavior that a lot of people i'm trying to fix this necklace that a lot of people or normal people get to experience so if you go and tell your friends whatever the case is and they never got treated like this how do you think they're gonna feel they're gonna be jealous whether or not they want to right so don't tell because then they're gonna in, un unconsciously subconsciously send a bunch of evil out your way send a bunch of negative energy your way because it's like they jealous like they trying to block your blessings because it's like oh how are you the one who able to get this why can't i get this yada yada you know so you don't want to cause animosity between you your family your friends things like that and you can be like oh if, if it was a true friend they didn't want to feel this type of way but if you're throwing things in their face that you know damn well they never experienced or they not have and whatever the case is you don't think they're gonna be jealous like be softer right now okay and don't get me wrong there's sometimes when people are not jealous okay there are times especially but then uh, especially if they got if they got better you know but that's that's what i'm saying you know like if somebody if you have friends and you know your friends lives are a trademark right they ain't never had nothing nice and then you go and throw in their face all this stuff that you're all the men that they deal with or all 
all cheat on them and treat them ter terribly and you come and you tell them all this stuff they're not gonna want to see you happy in a relationship be so for real like all they deal with is dusties and you come here with a great man who provides for you and all this stuff like perfect family man like he's a man you're gonna sit down so that and you go and you go and tell your friend who's been with the same guy for all these years and he's still a dusty been a dusty when they met still a dusty today they've been together for all these years they see you meet this great guy who you know is up to par up to standards you can bring them home to father and your father won't judge them and be disappointed in you and the man that you bring home and then you tell them that they do all this like girl keep it to yourself just keep it to yourself just keep it to yourself, just keep it to yourself, and you will end up marrying this. You will have, we have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Like, that's dream, that's like as best as you can get. I didn't even take a sip of this yet. Like, excuse me, there's no reason, there's no need for you to go and tell anybody. The only reason, the only, well, at least you should discernment. Like, the only people I would tell you, I would say, you know, you can go talk to about it is like people who are in a loving relationship like marriage you know with a man who treats them like this who does the things that your man is doing for you right nothing more nothing less on the same level right because then there's no reason for them to be insecure there's no reason for them to be um looking down on you like y'all on the same level they'll be like okay cool bet whatever right and then and then this person you can actually go to for sound advice because they've been there, done that, lived that. They can actually give you advice. Somebody who never been treated right, don't listen to that advice. They're going to tell you to lower your standards. Don't make no sense. Right? They never had a good man. And you're going to, you're going to go talk to them and ask them for advice? No. Absolutely. That don't make no sense. Right? And you're going to go tell them about how this man's treating you amazingly? No. Don't do that. That don't make no sense. Because either they're going to try to fuck your man or they're going to try to mess up, fuck up your head. But regardless, something's going to that shouldn't be right so don't do that okay but that's when you're gonna get married because a lot of times the reason what happens is you go you run and tell your friends about it they put a bunch of doubt on your head so then you start to act crazy you start to overthink and everything like that and you stop you stop acting like yourself which made this man be interesting in the first place and then ends up being animosity and uh, resistance and all that stuff so just keep it to yourself and that's when you're gonna get married because then all those issues that end up my nails look so pretty <laughs> all those all those issues that end up popping up in your relationship they won't pop up because you you stop repeating the same cycle of you know you telling somebody who's jealous or somebody who can't get what you got what you have or can't have men treat them to, and it's like they have they are they are fully capable of having a man treat them well it's just they're not doing what they need to do um so exactly and it's like you are doing what you need to do the only thing you need to shift and change is telling other people and telling people who aren't willing to do the inner work to feel as though they're deserving of being treated correctly uh, and right for them to attract somebody who treats them that way, you know? Um, but yeah, those are your messages. Part too. I hope it resonated. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know which part you came from and how it resonated. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification. I'm going to be posting every single day for the next 20 days. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, pile number three, if you pick the photo of the Christmas tree with the gifts under it and it has Victoria's Secret, D Dior and Kate Spade and Chanel on the Christmas tree, then this is the ring for you. So Lord Heavenly Father, please tap into pile number three's energy. So may I deliver these messages to, my, to them with accuracy, precision, honesty, and truth for the good of all and your home to my Lord. Amen. Okay, so when will pile number three get married? Loki, I'm here when you're already rich. Um, you're gonna marry rich because you're already rich and you're just marrying somebody that's in your tax bracket and in your community it could be honestly somebody you grew up with so if you grew up in money or like middle class upper middle class lower upper class type of or like even upper upper class if you grew up in like top one percent something like that then you're going to end up marrying somebody that you knew growing up um, or you're going to marry somebody who also grew up in like a well-off tax bracket as you um but i feel like you're gonna get married at a time where you're making more or you're earning more you're in like you help bring your family to like a higher tax bracket than what you was made grew up in but you was born in a pretty good tax bracket like at least middle middle class but like upper middle class or upper class upper upper class um but you're also helping like you went to college like your family was able to provide for you and help you and provide for you and support you 
uh, through like your education or through like just start up with a company or something like that um, or when you was like starting off your social media you was able to basically use the support of your family to generate a source of income for yourself that helped bring you and your family to a higher type of um, tax bracket we have uh, the nine of cups we have the strength card leo energy we have the king of pentacles Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we have on this card the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Tower card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So yeah. So you're gonna end up getting married when you're living your dream life already, and you have changed your life for the better. Like you have already created your dream life for yourself, and you have checked off a significant amount of goals off of your checklist or like your life plan. Um, you're going to get married at a time when you're not looking to get married or looking to settle down because it's like you wanted to get married or settle down so you can build with somebody so you can grow your life with somebody but by the time you're by the time you do get married you're gonna be at a point where it's like you don't need to build with anyone you don't need to grow with anyone you already did it on your own and you might be just like a little low-key bitter about the fact that you have to do all on your, all on your own and you have to you know be your own support and be your own motivation um but when this person the person that you do end up marrying they're gonna come in and you're gonna understand why god waited also you're going like it's going to be you're gonna be very happy with the way that things played out and the way that things worked out for you it's gonna have built you strength you're gonna realize that you never needed anybody from it happening this way you're gonna realize you never need anyone it was all you you were highly capable you were more than capable of getting everything you want and doing it on your own you are very strong and very powerful in both your feminine and your masculinity which is why god wanted you to have to do it on your own um and honestly the faster you focus on yourself and creating the life that you want and not relying on somebody or being called dependent on somebody or hoping and praying that someone comes and saves you is the quicker that you will be able to achieve your goals and then the quicker you will end up getting married um, because the, honestly the person you're going to get married to is not in the locations in the areas that you're in right now and once you get to the place that you want to be in that's when you'll be in the locations and the events and um, you'll be in the places where the person that you're going to marry is going to be in so focus on yourself and continue to build yourself into the person that you want to be some of you guys might have children already um, i'm seeing that with the seven of pentacles and um you will end up marrying a man who is okay and is willing and happy to provide for you and your family your children um and he's happy like they'll be happy with that okay like they'll be excited to know like you know that there's a family for him and everything like that like he won't feel any type of way about you having children he'll be very happy to be the man that stepped up he yeah he won't even look at himself as the stepfather he'll look at himself as the man who stepped up which is pretty cute pretty cutesy um but yeah that's basically it um signs of scorpio leo uh capricorn virgo taurus cancer pisces scorpio so happy Scorpio and also happy Leo. We already said that. We already know that. But yeah, uh, those are your messages. Part number three. I hope it resonated. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know which part you came from and how it resonated. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on so you'll be notified whenever I upload. I love you guys so very much. Check out the description box for any information you might need from me, like a personal reading, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Siobhan Shayna. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.